that is very unfortunate from the majority leader. And you see, there's a leadership failure on the part of the majority leader. You see, as a majority leader, you need to be in constant touch with the Speaker of Parliament. Then the Deputy Speakers of Parliament need to be in constant touch with the Speaker of Parliament. And don't forget, the Speaker himself has just returned from sick leave, which you and I know. And as a result of that, when he sits, he at times hand over to the Deputy Speakers, which he did yesterday. Yesterday, the, deputy, the Speaker himself was here. We were at Conclave. Where was the majority leader? We in the minority were here at 9 o'clock for business committee to proceed. Where was the majority leader? You have brought your budget to Parliament. You have brought your financial bills to Parliament. You have a major policy bill to Parliament. You left all this and went to Kumasi that you were going to do political party meeting, party activities. And as a result of that, you were unable to return on time to Accra for business to proceed. The speaker you are chastising today was on the plane, in, on the, uh, the speaker's lobby, waiting for you from 10 a.m. in the morning up to 4 p.m. before proceedings started on the floor of parliament. So the speaker, after proceeding with business activities, then handed over to the first deputy speaker and went home. So the first deputy speaker, after adjourning, should have reverted back to the speaker, said, oh, I adjourn the house to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. By our standing orders, what is the sitting time of parliament? Parliament shall ordinarily sit at 10 a.m. So when you adjourn proceedings to 9, 9 o'clock, instead of the normal 10 o'clock, did you communicate that one to the speaker? And if they are saying that the speaker should have been here at 9 a.m., how would the speaker know that we were no longer sitting at 10, but rather we were sitting earlier than 10? Who communicated that one to the speaker? Put that one aside. If they are saying that they were unable to wait for the speaker and therefore they reconvey the parliament for us to proceed business, in what capacity were they doing that? Let me be very factual with you. There is only one speaker of parliament deputized by two deputies. If the deputy speakers adjourn parliament to 9 a.m., it should have been the responsibility of the deputy speakers to communicate that one to the speaker of parliament. Oh, Mr. Speaker, this is what happened. And there was confusion and disorder. As a result of that, we adjourn sitting to 10 a.m. in the morning. And even that, once you do that, you have to convey leadership meeting so that the two leaders on both sides, we would have met this morning.